Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Come on, everyone. Giving honor to God. Ministers, church family, and friends. Happy Mother's Day to all the birth mothers, God mothers, and play mothers. I give honor to God for my 89 year old mother. Who taught me to respect myself and all others. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. And white mother. Amen. The official Mother's Day holiday started in the 1900s because of the efforts of Anna Jarvis, who taught, who wanted to honor her own mother, and Reeves Jarvis, because of all the many sacrifices she made. My mother's hands, my mother's hands are filled with arthritis. Her grip is sort of weak, but those are the hands that were a reflection of how she reared three children and three grandchildren and two great grandchildren. Her hands reflect how strong a mother can be after losing a husband, a son-in-law, and a daughter. My mother's hands helped me to raise my daughter, Crystal. I think I may have taken my mother's for granted until I became a mother. When I looked into the face of my newborn daughter, an unexpected blessing from God, I named her Crystal. She brought light into my life. I felt the weight of protecting, rearing, and supporting her and shaping her into becoming a respectable woman. Someone once told me that you never take an evaluation of yourself until you have a daughter. She becomes a reflection of the hopes and dreams that you've created for yourself, for her to follow. In conclusion, I want to leave the mothers and the children with a little poem that my dear friend, Nora Hudson, used with her children. When mother has a job for me and wants me to begin it, I try to stop what I am doing and not say, wait a minute. When I ask my mother to do something nice for me, she doesn't say tomorrow. She does it now, you see. That is the very reason I should repay the things she does for me by treating her the same way. I would like to thank the village, my church family, friends, and my sorority sisters for helping me rear Christopher Marie Jennings. Happy Mother's Day to all the lovely mothers. Thank you. But that she had my grandma 
mother, also my other mother, Emma White, though, to raise me too. They have been a great support system for me over, for, for my whole life, not over the years. And I also want to thank Ms. Blaylock. You're like a mother to me also. You've been there every step of the way. I appreciate you so much. Thank you and I love you. Miss Ross Golden, I don't know where you're at. My other mother, I appreciate you also, Miss Golden. Thank you for everything you do for me. In Second Methodist Church, I thank you for everything that you have done for me and raised me through all the pageants and everything that I've been through. I thank everyone. I love those
Mother's Day. Thank you.
a portion of the card. The card says, promises and blessings for you on this Mother's Day. The goodness you give as a model will return to you in abundance. Your gift will return to you in full and overflowing measure from Luke 6 and 38. The faith and trust you live by will become a source of joy. Among the fears and reverence of God shall be greatly praised. Proverbs 31 and 30. The love you show every day will be appreciated for a lifetime. Her children stand and bless her. Proverbs 31 and 28. Today and always may every ounce of love you pour out as a mother come back to you in blessings from the Lord. Happy Mother's Day. This is from the Second Baptist Church family, Reverend Kenneth and Gavin, the pastor, Reverend Andrew Smith, the sister pastor. Amen. Amen. 